we're live we're live we're live this is just a quick one-off live um have you seen social media have you seen all the pages that everybody talking about me all the photos of polling um ballot papers being ticked for buckley nick independent i'm absolutely overwhelmed I am. If this last 15 months has been worth it just for today to see the amount of support I've got online. I always hoped I'd do well. I, was, I always hoped I wouldn't embarrass myself. But it doesn't matter where I come now. The amount of support, the amount of message. I mean, we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of messages. Just go online. Go onto my Facebook page. Go on to some of the other groups. That's all that's being talked about is the election, obviously. But my name is the only name being mentioned. There's even one comment of some lady saying, I've just voted for the Tories and I've come home, turned on the internet. And who's this Nick Buckley? I'm sorry I didn't vote for him. That is the barrier I've had to face, is not being that well known. But after this election, I will be well known. Anything else will be easier now. If I stand again in a year's time, if Andy Burnham resigns, if I stand for MP, whatever I do will be easy because I'll have some type of name recognition. So this has been a springboard and thank you for everybody who supports me, who retweets stuff and reposts stuff and comments and listens to these live events of me rambling like a crazy man. Because I do feel a bit crazy doing this because what I'm doing is staring into a little black box. You think I'm looking at you, I'm not. I'm staring into a little white light into a little black box and it's quite freaky um honestly i woke up today about half about 20 past seven turned my phone on and i had dozens of messages waiting i've already voted can't forget polling stations opened at 7 a.m i had pictures at 20 past seven this morning of ballot papers with a cross against my name it's amazing it's a wonderful feeling a wonderful feeling now will any of this translate into votes proper votes block votes you know hundred thousand votes that's what I'm looking at how many hundred thousand votes can I get that's what I need will I get that I don't know but again I don't think it matters now because I think I've tapped into something in the public I've tapped into it and they're there going I like this guy I like what he says and you can't buy that i could have been better i could have been more polished my campaign could have been more professional i had some guy complain today that i've not i've not been to his area to campaign and what he doesn't know is i've been hardly anywhere campaigning i've got no money i've got no support i've got no people organizing anything when i say it's a one-man band it's me and if i can come second or third as a one-man band what does that say about the mainstream parties with hundreds of employees spending tens of thousands of pounds what does that say about them if a man with no recognition and no money and no help and no support apart from you great guys online if i can come second third it's an embarrassment to them and that's what i want to do embarrass them so some people are popping up because this was unannounced and i like the fact it's unannounced and and you find me it's as if you're stalking me. Mank Dave, good evening, Nick. Mank Dave, thank you. I've seen all the posts you put out. You've been, you've, been, you've been extremely busy now for months and months on my behalf. I've noticed it and I've thanked you many times. But let me thank you now. A big thank you. People, you and people like you have really been the heart of my campaign. James Smith. James Smith's another one. He's campaigned tired, tirelessly. Never met the man. No, I don't think I've even spoken to the man. But every day... He's putting posts out every day, jumping on other people's threads so I can gain some traction there. James, big thank you. Um, James Melling, we love you, Nick. I voted for you earlier on in Lee. Thank you. Lee's in Wigan. Wigan's been great as a council area. So many independents standing in Wigan that I think I'm going to do okay on Wigan. Um, I don't do it anymore now but up to a couple of months ago i was always looking on facebook where were the people who like my posts coming from and wigan from day one has been the top so more people in wigan have been supporting my my campaign than anywhere else 
So thank you to the people of Wigan. And I think a big part of that is because Wigan are used to voting for independents and have a huge selection of independents. So thank you, Wigan. John John, all right, Nick. Yep, John John's another gentleman. He's been spending months and months and months again advertising my campaign, going out of his way, tagging me into other people's posts, sometimes being abused for it. Why are you tagging him in this? It's got nothing to do with the mayor. And John just sits back and smiles as if to say, you're doing the work for me now, aren't you? You're now talking about my post. You're now talking about Nick Buckley for mayor. So I've learned a lot from these guys, from these ladies and gents who keep posting me everywhere. I, I know how to use social media and I'm, and I'm better than average, but I've learned so many tricks of the trade by watching these people supporting my campaign. So John, John, you're another star. Um, Michael Richmond's, you've had the courage to do it, Nick. Good luck to you. It's not courage. It may look like I need courage to do this, but let's be honest. In the grand scheme of things, it takes no courage to go on the internet and tell people you're standing for election. It would have took courage 100 years ago when we didn't have the right to vote and we're fighting for the right to vote or in certain countries across the world now. That takes courage. I'm not, take, I'm, I'm not being brave. No, but this is fairly easy. It's hard work, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, honestly, don't don't start putting labels on me like courageous because I, I don't deserve that. Um, Anthony Moulton, my, my mother didn't even know an independent was standing for mayor. So I shared to her some of your posts and she got and got her to vote for you. She's in yeah, Wigan again. She's in Wigan, of course she is. Most of my supporters are in Wigan. Um, so well done, your mum. Well done, and thank you for sharing. I, mean, I don't want people to twist someone's arm to vote for me. I really don't want that. But to share my post and tell people about me and let them make the decision themselves, that's called democracy. So it's fantastic. Robin Gonk, hi, Nick. There's a rumour stating that you're planning to phase out PCSOs. Is this correct? Unfortunately, yes, it is. Um, I've worked with dozens of PCSOs, fantastic. I've even put um, recommendations in about PCSOs because some of them were absolutely amazing. I don't think we need PCSOs anymore. We're in too much of a mess. We need full police officers. So what I'll do, I'll be inviting every PCSO to join the police as a full police officer. And the ones who don't will phase them out. I'm not saying I'm looking at sacking people or making people redundant, but they will be phased out. I'm going to turn Greater Manchester Police into a crime fighting force. PCSOs were great 20 years ago, but we've now lost the streets and I need police officers. I need fighting officers. So unfortunately, yes. Um, in Ghana, two votes from our household. Cheers Ian. John John. Good luck, Nick. Joe Haley, it was a privilege to be able to vote for a genuine guy like you. Thank you. I've seen your post, Joe, as well, so thank you. Alim, keep go, keep doing the lives. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm definitely going to do them every week. I'm going to pick a date. I'm not going to date yet. Maybe Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. But they're going to be a weekly, a weekly event at the same time, so people can get in the habit. Like, oh, it's Thursday. It's Nick Buckley night. Fantastic. Buy my popcorn, and I'm going to tune in. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, I've got in now. Um, Stuart, Gerard, best of luck, Nick. It's hard standing as independent. It is hard, but I'm sure it's just as hard standing for a party. Um, it's harder work, but you have more control. Um, so it, it swings and roundabouts, isn't it? Um, Robin, again, your three votes from his home in Rochdale. Thank you very much. Nicola Barry, good luck, Nick. We're all behind you. Thank you. Nicola, again, I've seen your posts. You know, I see things, I see the same names popping up, so thank you. Sandra, four votes in our house. Thank you, Sandra. Howard Temperley, best wishes, Nick. I voted for you earlier. Um, thanks for your vote. If you could see what I see about the thousands of people voting for me and an emailing, not messaging, emailing, messaging, posting their support, it's overwhelming, it really is. Um, 
Paul Bryan, keep going, change is needed. Yes, it is. I am going to keep going. Uh, Stephen Jockey Barlow, I do hope you win, Nick. We're sick of the same old. Burnham, won't change. We need change. Yes, we do. Vic Sue Lund, good luck, Nick. Thank you. Samantha Elliott, hello, Sam. How are you? We've not seen each other for many years. Um, good luck, Nick. Our votes are in. Thank you, Sam. Um, thanks, Nick. That's a much better solution. Like you, I've met some fantastic PCSOs, but they're severely underrated and there's a lack of training and support. Um, I have, I've, I mean, I've worked with some amazing PCSOs, I really have, and it'll break my heart to phase them out. But, but we need crime fighters. No, we, we, I need, yeah, so I mean, it's, it's a shame, but I'm not going to be making, well, hopefully I'm not making people redundant. I'll be transferring lots of them into the police, and then we'll phase out the ones that are left. And do you know what? That's what's happening now. You know, police forces all the country are phasing out PCSOs. I'm not telling you that's what they're doing, but there's, they don't advertise for PCSOs at the moment. Someone leaves, they don't replace them. So it's already happening. I'm just going to be upfront and honest, because that's my policy. I'm not going to be sneaky. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing so you know. I'm going to treat you like an adult and I'll explain my plans to you. And I won't treat you like an idiot. Um, Debs, good luck, Nick. Thank you. Dave, David Barber, all I'm seeing online is people voting for you. Come on. You're right, David. That's why I popped on here now. It's, it's overwhelming the amount of support I'm getting online. Overwhelming. Again, I'm not saying I'm going to win, I don't know, because it's hard to translate online to real life, I don't know, but I've never seen anybody get the support online on election day that I'm getting now. But again, have I ever really looked before? I, no, so, I don't know, I don't know. Nicola Barry, I forgot, four votes from our house as well, thank you Nicola. Um, Lorraine Collins, good luck Nick, thank you. Alim again. There will be a surprise in this election. Everyone knows that Labour are finished. I am going to be a surprise. I really am. Again, I'm not saying I'm going to win, but I'm going, I'm going to surprise everybody. Over the next couple of weeks, regardless of the result, people are going to be talking about me. News outlets will be talking to me. I want apologies off the evening news and the BBC if they think I'm going on their channel again. I want apologies off them for leaving me out. So there will be consequences, but I will be the story after today. It's nobody with a one, this one man band with no money, no backing, no help, no support, apart from you guys online. How did he beat all these mainstream parties? Well, it's because I went to you and I worked with you and I was truthful to you. And you could see it was the truth. You could see I meant every word I said. That's how I've got to where I am. So let, let's see next couple of weeks. Um, looking at here Paul Jones I've got my vote is in best of luck Nick thank you Paul um, Neil one vote any reports any reports where you are in the polls no there was a poll on Monday Sunday Monday that had me third place uh, and that's it um, by Bridgewood you the man you the man thank you Debs why is voting done in pencil and not pen? I have no idea, but you can take your own pen and do it. Um, John John, can you reassure us as to the integrity of the vote count? Is it guaranteed not to be able to be tampered with? No, it's not. Um, I can't give you any reassurance. Who am I? Um, this is what happens. So your papers go into a sealed box. Then that sealed box is opened either tonight or tomorrow morning and all the ballot papers are taken out. The local elections are put in one pile, the mayor's put in another pile. The mayor's pile is then put into a bag and locked away until Saturday morning. Yeah, you heard that right. The ballots are locked away till Saturday morning in a bag. I'm not saying they're going to be tampered with, but it's not a great system, is it? But that's our system at the moment. Um, Mac Dave, have a guess, always takes a pen to vote. Um, well, yeah, take a pen. You, you can take whatever you want. Um, Jane Smith, 
local and mayor votes are mixed together doesn't seem a good idea um it isn't but you know what this is the this is the game i'm playing this is the game no point me joining the game and complaining about the rules this is the game these are the rules we can have a discussion about this after the fact but at the moment this is the game um my right, bridgewood sent <laughs> sent the fat lady the burnham's house to sing to him and hopefully um <laughs> hopefully we will see i'm not commenting on that i get into trouble Stuart, seeing you away good luck uh, thank you it's it's great so um we've got 33 people watching at the moment 40 comments and i'm not even advertised it that's fantastic um so let me recap amazing amazing support i've had a few and everybody else i'm touched i really am i think i'm going to do better than anyone gives me credit for I think I'm going to do better of the trolls online who have laughed at me and said I'm going to lose my deposit, I'm a nobody. They'll realise they're wrong. And how close will I come to Burnham? How close? Can I beat him? It's always a possibility. We never know. It's a possibility. But if I don't beat him, how close will I come? How close will a nobody come to beating him? One of the most famous Labour politicians in the country with a team around him spending hundreds of thousands on his campaign he's got he's got celebrities doing videos for him now all coming out online vote andy burnham king of the north how close can i come to him that's the question we've got to ask um last couple of questions and i'm going to call that a night um here we go what we've got here uh dan ogden just voted and both of us voted for you thanks dan Debs, good luck. We're rooting for you. Come on, people. Um, Scott Jones, I had the same. There was a pencil, yeah. And you brought a pen. Good for you. Jane Smith, can I explain the deposit? Uh, well, to stand for mayor, you've got to put down £5,000. And if you don't get 5% of the vote, you lose it. So hopefully if I get over 5%, I'm hoping to do a lot better than that. But if I got over 5%, I get my five, my £5,000 back, which is going straight back into my pension pot. I've taken 15, 20 grand out of my pension to stand. So if I can put five grand back into it, that'll help me when I'm 75, won't it? So that's how the deposits work. Lover K just voted. Thank you, Lover. Uh, Ramo, wishing you well. I really hope you get in. Thank you. Uh, Pat Bradbury very close and bloody pass him significantly I hope I do Lover K we took pens good for you and where does the money go if you don't get it back so where the deposits go it goes into the Great Manchester Combined Authority to contribute to the cost of running the election um, that's where the money goes so no one keeps it it just goes back into into the tax pot basically for Greater Manchester Combined Authority um, that's it no more questions thank you very much um fingers crossed if you haven't voted get off your ass now get out and vote even if it's not for me but it will be for me won't it of course it will otherwise you won't be on this would you but get out and vote don't put it off any longer get out and vote um and it's looking amazing isn't it i'm really really chuffed i'm gonna go to bed tonight well i'm on um talk talk tv at midnight with andre walker so uh, i'll chat to him about what's going on and I'm on TNT radio half past eight in the morning um, and I'm sure I'll be doing a lot more press over the next week or two when everybody wants to know what was the secret Nick what was the secret of beating Andy Burnham or what was the secret of coming 2,000 votes away from knocking off the most popular Labour elected official in the country they all want to know the answer and the answer is easy yo you was my secret weapon that's what it was um vic sue already voted for you nick thank you catherine i definitely think labour is finished but conservatives are no better conservatives have been wiped out in greater manchester honestly um and rightly so not because of the candidate who's a nice lady laura but as a brand they're finished across the country they're finished um tracy lamb voted this morning wishing you all the luck thank you tracy and good night 
and see you Wednesday early evening. I'll set a time and organise it better. But we'll do a live event after they've announced the winner. Don't forget, the announcement of the winner is about 3 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. So I'll probably do something at about 5 or 6 to make sure we've got the result. Take care. Thank you for your vote. And really, just a big thank you. A big thank you for all your help and support. Cheers.